Hey, you know who this is? It's me. Um, I'm gonna give a quick little video on uh my uh Walmart experience. Some of my Walmart uh, experience from driving to Walmart with different companies and and uh, the one I'm at now. So, um, show you the little device real quick. This is the little device they give you. Uh, most of the, most Walmart's they give you when you go to Walmart. Uh, it just got done ringing. I took a little nap. Because at almost all Walmarts <laughs> that you deliver to, not if you're just dropping, but you deliver to, which I had to deliver to this one, which um, I didn't remember how to deliver here, <laughs> but uh had to deliver to this one, and uh, you're here usually 10, no, <laughs> usually 2 to 5 hours. I just got, excuse me, I just got up from the nap I was having. Um, cause you're here from at least two to five hours unloading here, just about every Walmart. I'm not, I'm here at the one in Pennsylvania, right off of, uh, right off of 70. Um, it's yeah, just about all of them. And, uh, I used to be refrigerated, uh, with another company and you have to deliver there also. And, um, you have to deliver just about uh, all the places refrigerated, uh, what I was coming, I was at, so but you can count two to five hours out of your day at Walmart. So I don't even know what time it is. Let me look and see what time it is, see how long I've been here. It's 8.21. I got here at 5.50. All right, I got here at 5.50, it's 8.21. That's not bad, actually. So basically, I didn't get into the door till six, and then you have to usually walk up there. They give you that little device, and then you can get going. And then also, let me show you this. Um, uh, Ohio State, there you go. But uh, let me show you about. No. Okay, so, and you usually have to, uh, you usually have to uh, dolly down, which uh, for those who are you just uh, looking at getting the truck in, dolly down, which means you have to, um, can you see it? Yeah, so you have to dolly down, get, uh, Dolly down your trailer, shock your wheels, I don't know if you can see that, shock your wheels, and pull out from underneath the trailer. That's my truck. Uh, you got to pull out from underneath the trailer most of the time, because they don't want you to be underneath it just in case. Some safety precautions, you try to take off while they're still back there doing stuff, which I don't blame them, you know. Um, it's not that much of a headache, you know. Not too bad, but uh, I'm gonna go in here and get my paperwork. Uh, there's something else I was gonna tell you guys. Um, I was gonna do the inside of my truck and outside of my truck today, but it's kind of cold out. It's about to start raining, so I'll get to that in another video. Uh, see you on the other side next time. Peace out, Mr. Fit Trucking.